Number nine, the wreck that swallows deep sea divers. Built during the early 1950s, the Italian ocean liner SS Andrea Doria operated out of Genoa as a luxury cruise ship. It advertised itself as the country's largest, fastest, and safest passenger vessel at the time. It even had a reputation for being unsinkable, despite lacking the fame of the Titanic. Just three and a half years after entering service, the Andrea Doria collided with the Swedish-built ocean liner Stockholm off the Nantucket coast amid heavy fog. The ship slowly began to tilt on its side as it took on water, taking 11 hours to completely disappear below the surface. It came to rest along the border of the continental shelf at a depth of 240 feet. While 46 people tragically perished in the disaster, 1,600 people survived thanks to the Andrea Doria's slow sinking. Rumored to contain a large amount of money and valuables, the wreck is alluring to deep sea divers who visit the wreck despite the alarming number of explorers who have died during past dives. As of 2017, at least 16 people have lost their lives trying to gain a peek at the Andrea Doria, including expert divers. In 2015, 60-year-old scuba diver Thomas Pritchard vanished during a dive to the luxury ship. He was never found and is presumed dead. Two years later, one of Britain's top divers, 46-year-old Stephen Slater, was pulled unresponsive from the water and later died. The deaths have been attributed to numerous causes, including the strain that the water's pressure and cold temperature put on the body. Rising to the surface too quickly can cause a deadly condition known as the bends, and at such extreme depth, an equipment malfunction can easily prove deadly. It's also speculated that some divers become disoriented inside the wreck, where visibility is poor and currents can change with little to no warning. Yet the Andrea Doria continues to draw visitors from the diving world who want to say they've been there. Bonus if they manage to retrieve an artifact as proof. Number 8. Mystery Plane Debris While sailing off the St. Augustine, Florida coast in 2012 with plans to take photos of reefs for an interactive map he was creating, 31-year-old Joe Kistel's depth finder detected something strange. It was an object 80 feet below the surface. He dove to the site and observed metal parts and debris that he initially thought had perhaps fallen off a barge. They were actually plane parts, including two engines, an engine block, and a broken propeller. The wreckage may belong to an aircraft that disappeared 16 years earlier in 1996. 58-year-old Stuart Dunbar was flying his small plane alone from Georgia to his home in South Carolina when he put out a concerning distress call, saying that he was dizzy and having vision problems. He vanished along with the aircraft, leaving his family without answers. Dunbar's daughter, Penny Malfress, told CNN that she believes her father steered the plane away from land to avoid hurting anyone when he realized he was having an emergency. When some local fishermen heard about the discovery, they took Kistel to another site four miles away where he found another aircraft. He broke off a piece of debris only to later notice it had property of the U.S. written on it, indicating that it was a military aircraft. It also contained numbers that helped Kistel's team identify the plane as an A-7 last flown by a pilot named Robert Bessel. As it turned out, Bessel was still alive. He was 24 year old when he became disoriented and hit the fuselage of his commander's plane during a training flight in the 1970s. Bessal told SaintAugustine.com that the plane lost power and flew out of control. He ejected and was rescued from the water, but said he wasn't exactly proud of the mishap and didn't want to talk about it much. In fact, he never told a lot of people about the accident, period. After Kistel rediscovered the aircraft, Bessel decided to finally face the part of his past that he had tried for so long to forget about. He visited the wreck site and it seemed to help him finally come to terms with what happened. At number seven, Disney Island's mildly creepy relics. Disney Cruise Line passengers get the privilege of visiting the company's privately owned island in the Bahamas known as Castaway Cay. It's home to a 22 acre snorkeling lagoon filled with scattered relics, including a ship anchor, a sunken submarine, a fishing boat, Disney character statues, and a bizarre looking structure that nobody seems to be able to identify. In one Reddit discussion about the mysterious round object, which appears to have a protruding barrel, some commenters pointed out that it seems to resemble a replica of a naval mine. These self-contained explosive devices have a history of dating back centuries. 
The first known precursors to modern sea mines were described by Chinese inventors during the Ming Dynasty. The most common used variant of the weapon used today is known as a contact mine, which requires the enemy to come into contact with it before it explodes. Luckily, the one at the Castaway K is only there for show. In 2021, the island reopened for the first time in a year after being closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Return visitors who swam in the snorkeling lagoon before the coronavirus noticed a handful of new additions to its collection of items, including some described by visitors as mildly creepy. Have you ever been to Disney's private island? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. At number six, unidentified Hawaiian wreck. In 2005, researchers discovered a 19th century wooden ship at French frigate shoals in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. Two years later, in 2007, a team of scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration visited the wreck in hopes of identifying it. Based on the ship's features, they concluded that it's most likely the Churchill, a four-masted schooner that ran aground on a reef in 1917 while sailing from Tonga to Seattle. The wreck's size and dimensions were also consistent with the 178-foot-long ship. Built in North Bend, Oregon in 1900, the 600-ton Churchill's design was typical of the large wooden schooners that dominated American shipping in the Pacific between the Civil War and World War I. When it ran aground, it was carrying a cargo of copra, or dried coconut meat. Luckily, all 12 crew members were rescued by a nearby fishing boat. They accused the captain Charles Granzow of deliberately destroying the ship, and he was charged with espionage. The disgruntled sailors claimed that Grasnow wanted to remain aboard the Churchill even after it was apparent they would only survive if they got into lifeboats. It's unclear what became of the matter. After exploring the wreck, the NOAA marine archaeologists admitted that they can't say with certainty that it's the Churchill, but all signs point toward it. Number 5. The Holy Grail of Shipwrecks While exploring off the waters of Bulgaria in 2018, Scientists from the Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project spotted a shockingly intact shipwreck. It stood out among the 60 or so others that they saw of how incredibly well-preserved it was. It sits over a mile below the surface, where there's very little oxygen in the water. Decay happens much more slowly, which explains why the 2,400-year-old ship is in such great condition. It's not the oldest submerged vessel in the region, but it's the only known ship of its age that contains a preserved mast, rowing benches, and other features that are not normally seen in wrecks from that time period. The ancient boat resembles the vessel seen in Greek artwork, offering a hint about its possible origins. A portion of the wreck was raised in radiocarbon dated to the 5th century BC, when Greek city-states and Mediterranean colonies frequently traded along the Black Sea coast. While little is known about the ship itself, its pristine state is giving experts an unprecedented glimpse back in time as they try to learn more. Number 4. Exploded Warship Sitting at a depth of 361 feet in the Aegean Sea, an old ship bears evidence that it was blown up before it sank to its watery grave. The 130-foot-long vessel's bow is missing and its stern has collapsed. Shredded metal sheets were ejected from the sides of the ship, and the seafloor is scattered with debris as far as 100 feet away from the main wreck. The ship was discovered by divers in 2022 near the Greek island of Kythnos. Its unique construction of closely spaced frame lines, no holds, and a low profile of just 10 feet in height bears elements of what expedition leader Costas Thoktoroditis described as a very old ship, possibly a warship. The team that discovered the vessel declined to speculate on its age or who it belonged to. Aside from clear evidence that it was destroyed in a very strong explosion, its origins and story are a complete mystery. Costas and his team hope to identify the ship through further research. At number 3, a mystery sloop in Lake Michigan. While searching Lake Michigan for the debris of a long-missing aircraft in 2004, a team of explorers from the Michigan Shipwreck Research Association and the National Underwater Marine Agency discovered the wreck of a small wooden boat 250 feet below the surface. They concluded that it's a 19th century single-masted merchant sloop measuring just 47 feet long and 17 feet wide. There are few recorded disappearances of sloops on Lake Michigan. The team noted that there are a few that were similar in size to the one they found, but the features were different. Based on records, the closest candidate for the wreck's identity is the Buffalo, 
a 49 by 16 foot passenger sloop that was built in Michigan in 1845. But there are no known records to suggest that the buffalo was lost on Lake Michigan, throwing another wrench into the mystery. A document from 1850 shows that its owner surrendered it, but lacks any details about changes in the boat's ownership or name, or if it disappeared or wrecked, which would ordinarily be included on a surrender certificate. Researchers pointed out that record-keeping was a lot less thorough and accurate back then than it is now, so an absence of any record of the buffalo sinking doesn't mean it didn't sink. But they also can't say with certainty that the submerged sloop is the buffalo, and an educated guess may be the closest they ever get to knowing for sure. Number 2. Pearl Harbor Plane During the first few minutes of the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, Japanese forces bombed the naval air station on the east coast of Oahu, sending 27 Catalina PBY planes plunging into the Pacific Ocean. Only 11 PBYs survived the attack. Their destruction prevented American pilots at the station from immediately retaliating against the Japanese, amounting to a significant setback for U.S. forces that day. Researchers have long known about the presence of these destroyed long-range bombers, but have struggled to explore one particular wreck of a PBY-5 over the years. The coral-encrusted aircraft sits at a depth of just 30 feet in Kanaohe Bay, but divers encountered murky waters when they tried to visit the site in 1994 and again in 2008. They finally managed to take some clear images of the wreck and perform an archaeological survey in 2021 thanks to opportune conditions and advanced equipment. The identity of the plane and its crew remain unknown and experts have accepted that they may never have the answers. Because the wreck is protected under the Sunken Military Craft Act of 2004, it's illegal to move it to a place where it might be easier to study. But the pictures that were captured during the visit are giving researchers their first detailed glimpse of the plane, and it could help them learn more about what exactly happened that day. And at number 1. Yangtze River Shipwreck China's Yangtze River is Asia's longest waterway, spanning a 3,900-mile distance from the Tibetan Plateau to the East China Sea. Its use as a major cargo and passenger route dates back hundreds of years, and it also played a vital role in warfare and the expansion of Imperial China. In 2015, researchers discovered a remarkably preserved ancient merchant ship resting beneath 18 feet of water at the bottom of the Yangtze River. They identified it as a vessel that sailed sometime between 1862 and 1875 during the Qing Dynasty. Divers recovered a trove of artifacts including blue and white porcelain, purple clay pottery and other cups, bowls and plates bearing ornate designs in distinct coloring. Experts traced their origins to Vietnam and a city in Chinese Jiangxi province that was once known as the Porcelain Capital. The wreck was raised in 2022 after years of planning revealing one of the country's largest and most intact wooden vessels ever found. Known simply as Yangtze Estuary No. 2, the ship measures 125 feet long and 32 feet wide, and has 31 cabins. To safely pull it out of the water, researchers built a watertight chamber and slowly lifted the ship, which took several hours. They found even more artifacts, including iron anchors, Vietnamese hookah tanks, and more exquisitely decorated dining ware. Efforts to fully explore and preserve the wreck are ongoing. Thanks for watching. Which one of these mysterious discoveries shocked you the most? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.